Exercise is a simple app, and you just need to understand the logic behind it. So in this exercise tutorial, I will show you how the structure of exercise works and cover some basics and more advanced techniques. By the end of this video, you will learn and understand how to use exercise in record time. Let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome back. So exercise is a relatively new note taking app that helps you to organize your thoughts and ideas in a creative way. And the reason why I think this is an excellent note taking app is the simplicity. I tried numerous note taking apps from very simple to extremely complex. While Axtai is among the most simplest note taking apps, it offers many possibilities and features to organize your notes. Click on the sign up for free if you do not have an Axtai account or sign in if you have already created one. After the sign in, you will be taken to the home page where you will access the workspaces. The workspaces are virtual spaces that contain different projects. And let's pause here a moment to overview how Axtai structure works. This structure shows the logic how you can organize your notes in Axtai's. Let me break it down. At the bottom, we have workspaces. You can create workspaces for personal use or your team. If creating a workspace for your team, you can easily invite your team members to work together. As I told you, the workspaces include your projects. So basically every piece of information you store in Axtai's will be in one of your workspaces. Now, let's create a workspace for our goals. Next, we have projects. They can vary in size and complexity. We are in the workspace we created for the goals. Let's say we want to have one project for personal goals and another one for work-related goals. By clicking here, you can create them. You can either start from scratch or use a template. Let's use this template. This is how your project looks like. If you click here, you can easily share this project with others. Now, let's move on the pages, as they are one of the most essential elements of the structure. As you can see, each project can have multiple pages where you can add, organize and edit content. If you click here, you can add a new page. Let's add some content to the page, and this is where the ties come in. The ties are the elements used to display and organize information on a page. They can contain media and text content as well. Just click and drag on the canvas to create a tile of any size. If you double click on the page, Xtiles will create a standard size tile. Whenever you click on the created tile, you can adjust the size, set the background color and easily move it around the page. If some tiles are connected to each other, using the grouping function, you can visually group the tiles based on their content. The reason why I think that tiles are great for organizing your content is because unlike other note taking apps where you have the option to drag and drop a section, a file or an image, with Xtiles, the tiles give you a way more customization options as you can select the exact size and the position of the tiles. Essentially, the content you add to each tile is the blocks. If you click on the plus icon here, it will open the menu of the block types. You can add different types of content with Xtiles, such as text, lists, tables, images, videos, code, and so on. You can either choose a block type from the list or find it with the search bar. Xtiles has its own image library from Amplash, however, you can upload your own pictures as well. In a nutshell, whenever you want to add the content to your ties, you have to use the blocks. Now, I will show you some tips and tricks that you can use to fully maximize the capabilities of Xtiles. If you click on the plus icon, you can add nested pages if you need more space to structure your content. When you click on its icon, Xtiles will redirect you to the newly created subpage. If you take a look here, Exercise will show you the main page and splash the subpage in which you are currently working. The subpages provide you more possibilities to structure and break down your content and notes into different parts. The next tip is about using the focus view. If you want to work only in one tile and see it closer, just click on the three dots icon here and select the first option. This way, you can continue your work in a focus mode, which makes it easier to add blocks and customize the tile. Lastly, I recommend you to check the templates. Xtiles offers numerous templates, from project records to weekly, monthly or yearly planners. However, there are templates for productivity, education, brainstorming, teams and meetings. If you click here on the template gallery, you will see all the templates and you can add them with one click. While some templates require pay plans, you can access many great templates with the free plan as well. As I mentioned earlier guys, you can find the link to the Xtiles in the comment section and also in the description. Let me know what you think about Xtiles and feel free to share your tips and tricks and how you use Xtiles. 
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you later guys.